Welcome back to part 3 of the uh, survival. So, just to start off, um, picking up right from where the uh, last one left off. Uh, so we've got the cobalt in the refinery and that's, you know, doing its thing. Uh, I thought in the meantime, it would be good to get a O2 H2 generator going up and then a larger refinery to get all the ores processed much faster because it is on 10 times. And if we just take a look in here, there's still plenty of ores just like sitting in here waiting around and so it's gonna take a while so I thought it might be good to get a much bigger better one going and then we could get a better assembler after that and then pretty much be all decked out uh, so I thought we'd start on this side and then have it go this way and then so we're gonna get this one done and then take the parts out here There we go, and we're just waiting for that. Okay, T don't know what's going on there. Must have had the uh, large cargo container in the um, build thing, so I just cancel all that because that's what we don't need. Um, put all that away, so that should be good to make straight away. Because um, yeah, I've been running out of hydrogen in my jetpack. It's the same sort of bottle from uh, the very first episode, so thought it'd be good to get a one of these going up so then we can fill up so because we did have like 300 ice in the uh, lander before we blew up so right, there we go it's all in there um oh, that's the o2 bottle i just need to get a hydrogen bottle there we go okay so that's gonna refill um then next on the agenda was a larger refinery there we go large grid Oh yeah, there's a zombie here too, I forgot to mention. Um, I killed him. There we go, just push his body down. Okay, that was a nice little fun ride. Okay, uh, getting this refinery up, getting back on track. Uh, number eight it is. Uh, okay, so we don't have the steel plates. Oh, that's right, I put them all away. The okay, there we go, steel plates. Uh, so, I think we might go this way, because then we could put the modules at the bottom. There we go. Not a very pretty base. Definitely not going for looks. Just going for functionality. And since nobody, like, it's not multiplayer, since nobody's coming to attack us, you know, I thought it might be just straight up easy if you know we didn't worry about having much defenses so that's the explanation for not much like defenses like in terms of tyrants and everything it's just the occasional zombies so far uh, no pirates have come to bother us too so that's pretty good I don't know if they'll ever try to come and like uh, destroy a base I've never really experienced this mod before like this is the first time ever playing through it so We'll just get these done. Alrighty, so we've just come across a problem. We have run out of iron, and we need a lot of iron. So, with that done, it's a good thing that we have an iron deposit right over here. We just need to find our way into there. Oh, there we go. There's already one mined here, so... How lucky is that? Okay, so we now have, thankfully, enough iron. Uh, surprisingly pretty quick to get all that done. Um, so here we have just the last of the iron being refined and we managed to get quite a bit so we had enough to fulfill like how much iron we needed plus I uh, went a bit overboard, well not overboard but I did be, uh, sorry, I did get enough just to have some left over as well which would be good. So at the moment we only need just about 3 million and we've got, oh not 3 million, <laughs> Uh, 3,000 is it? Yeah, 3,000 kilograms. Uh, and we ended up getting like, yeah, about 8,000 kilograms, so that's pretty good. Um, iron is it's amazing because it just refines so fast. Uh, so now we just, we're waiting pretty much on the refinery to refine all of this 15k cobalt and 8k nickel. Uh, it's more cobalt because it originally was doing nickel at first, so it got most of the nickel done, and yeah. So. Not bad. Uh, the good thing about this is soon we will be able to get a reactor going. 
thankfully, because we've got uranium over there, uh, and then we've got gold over there, and the rest of the stuff is just, we know where pretty much it all is, so I'm thankful for that, because this is honestly the best um, survival start I've had in Space Engineer Survival, like, in its entirety. Uh, it could be that it's a modded planet, but, you know, I don't know if he went crazy on the ores or whatever, like, I don't know how modding a planet in Space Engineers would go, but either, either, we got, we got a good start. Alrighty, so the last of the parts have just finished up, uh, so we can just go ahead and grab that out, and then finish off welding this refinery. Um, we'll have to do a few trips with this. That's all good. We'll just... There we go, and then get the rest out, and we still need to do it a few times. There we go. One metal grid. Oh, one metal grid. <laughs> uh, okay, do we have that? That looks like we do not have one metal grider anywhere. Damn. Okay. Now we have one metal... Ah, oh, it was a grid, not a grider. Why do I keep digging griders? Uh, there we go. Okay, there was a metal grid already. There we go. Look at that. So that will be ready, and then we can finally get those, like, those ores all finished up, and then, yeah, we'll get that assembler done, and then we'll think about doing that miner. I'm thinking instead of doing like that smaller miner, just the small like makeshift miner I guess you could say, just place a few blocks here and there. I think I might just go jump straight for the blueprint I had in mind and um, start by getting a projector and everything set up and then just like have it projected and just build that because then once that's done that's the miner I'll use for the rest of the series on this planet because it's a really good miner, it's trustworthy and you know, you can get a lot from it so finally get these ores refined base refinery and then the where is it there we are okay so I'm assuming what's happening here is we do not have enough power to, ref uh, to run this so okay so getting the parts for the wind turbine uh, the assembler wasn't working because the refinery was hogging all the power just like the other refinery was hogging power for the refinery so I had to turn that all off, and so now we're just waiting on the assembler to build the parts, and then we can turn everything back on, and then that way we shouldn't have, yeah, we should have enough power that way, um, to be able to run everything, hopefully, but if not, I'm thinking we could do a small reactor, because then that way we will have plenty of power, and we do have uranium nearby, so it'll be good to have a reactor. Okay, so that was the last of the wind turbines, uh, so I added three of them, and so now we have quite a bit going up there. There we go, uh, that should hopefully be enough just to run everything now, so I'm going to turn it on, and we'll have a look. So, assembler's on, refinery's on, and the other one is on. There we go. Okay, so that refinery's working, and if we just go to say, let's try, oh, we do need a larger assembler, so I'll get one of those going. Uh, there we go, put that down here, and then if we go ahead and add that to Q, there we go, so it has enough power to run everything, thank god, um, so we'll get this uh, next assembler done, and then we should be good to build a reactor, and then after that, uh, probably just more mining runs, and then we'll build that big miner, so, yeah. Okay, so now that's the uh, 
better, more advanced assembler. Uh, so we've got pretty much a good refinery and a good assembler. We could get rid of the basic stuff, uh, but I'm going to keep it because that'll be good just for like a backup or a second assembler and refinery. Uh, so coming here, we finally unlocked all the parts that we can make, which we don't have access to any of them because there's no stuff inside of this yet. So to make some reactor components, we need some silver. Okay, so now it looks like we're on to a silver run. We finally arrived and we parked right on top of silver. So, let's get digging. <laughs> so I just came out and there's like two zombies on the uh, the car here and I'm it's gonna shoot them but I was in the, the car was in the way so get these pesky zombies off. That was, that was pretty scary. I just came up here and they're facing my car like what are they doing? You know. Anyway, uh, let's try and get this in here. There we go. I love how uh, when you put it in you can see the uh, weight shift to the back because of all the weight of the ore. There we go, you can just see the vehicle slowly start to slope down. I'm going to have to weld these up because if we hit anything these will break instantly causing the vehicle to disconnect. So I did get a bit of stone so I just dropped that, that was the big boulder there. Um, nearly ready to leave. Before we leave I'm just going to increase those like the suspension power now because there we go what's 100 percent no we'll just go um i reckon 30 percent will do that should do good there we go okay so we just unload the rest of that here and then we will be good to leave it's starting to rain oh it's, it's beautiful hearing those sounds wait is it starting to rain it sounds like it's raining and yeah i think it's raining i can't Physically, okay, no, I could see rain there. Yep, it's raining. That's cool. That is very cool. So we'll just bring this back up into the driveway. If we have enough power to do so. There we go, look at that. Okay, there we go. And, no, it's starting to fall back. Okay. There we go, handbrake's on. Oh, there's an unknown signal. Okay, let's unload all of this. So we ended up just getting uh, about 30 kilograms of, um, uh, 30,000 kilograms of silver. So that should be enough to the point where we will never need to go out and get any more. But you know, I could be wrong. We'll see what the future holds. So we should be good to turn on everything. So yeah, it's already all on, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Okay, well then I'm just going to jump this silver straight to the queue because then we can get all the good reactors going. Okay, so the battery's not nearly run out, but it could use some more, so I'm just going to put a small nuclear reactor in a car here. Okay, and then we just... I'll leave that like that, and then for this reactor, we'll just put it on top of here, because then it can connect to, like, the main grid that we have it on. There we go, and just start to weld that up, and now we're just waiting on the parts. Okay, that's the small reactor done. Uh, we do need some uranium to fill that up, which I can go get because I'm pretty sure it's just over here somewhere. I'll go get it later. Uh, we'll work on this bigger reactor here. The components for the reactor are finally finished, and so we can finish up this. Um, I did go and get a little bit, like just enough to fill my inventory of uranium just from the hill uh, behind me. So, with that done... We should, yep, it's already active. Uh, we have just a little bit of uranium in there and counting. Um, there is more in the refinery, if I can just find it. Yeah, yeah, there's plenty more still being refined, so we should hopefully get a good deal out. Uh, I'll just end up getting five, because I want to fill this up so the battery can recharge, because the battery is nearly out of charge. So if we can just put some in here. There we go. Hopefully that'll be enough to charge the battery, I'll have a look. 
So that will take a while to recharge fully, two hours. Uh, so I'm just not going to worry about it, just let it do its thing there. So that should all be good by now. Um, okay, so next really is just to wait out for the ores to be processed, see if we have enough, you know, to make that miner. And yeah. We don't really have a lot of iron, so I'll probably have to go get more of that. But in the meantime, I'm going to get that projector working, and I'll get a programmable block, and we'll see what components I'll need to weld up the mining ship. Okay, there we go. So, we've got a bigger platform, now we can get this programmable block and projector going. So that, there we go. Okay, so another thing that I needed was an elite welder and grinder. Um, we probably don't have the platinum for it, but we did have platinum. Might not be enough, but I'll give it a try, see if we can do it. Okay, so I'm just gonna put platinum straight up to the list. Okay, after a tough attempt, I've sort of got it right, I just need to rotate a little bit more, but it's the uh, right way facing. Yeah, there we go. So that is pretty good. I'm happy with that and how that's turned out. I'll go ahead and get this little block going across so we can have this connected to it. Alrighty, so we have that connected. Uh, that's all good and ready to start welding up. Uh, I'm just going to see what parts we need so I can queue them all and then that way we'll have everything as we're welding it up and we just go back and forth getting what we need. Okay, so I'm just adding in the timer block and the LCD panel to make this work. It doesn't require it, I don't think, but um, I'm just going to have it there anyway because it'd be nice just to have a look, see what we need for the um, blueprint and start having to go in and actually have a look, so... There's that. Oh yeah, and I got the um, Elite Welder finally, so... It all goes up pretty quick, which is amazing. Uh, so I'll just see what this script needs. Okay, so that should be all set up, I'm pretty sure. Just click run. Okay, there we go. So we can see here, this is what we need for the um, components. Uh, for the blueprint that we have loaded. Which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, that's pretty much everything, I guess. Uh, it doesn't come up with uh, a few things because of the new blocks, I'm pretty sure. But... Yeah, so we do have a pretty good display on what we need. It also says here... Ah, yep, so it goes past the computer, so we're going to have to change this a little bit, actually. Just to make sure it's able to fit everything. So just decrease the font size. There we go. Okay, well, this is only showing up to the computers, whereas this shows past the computer, so we'll just use this. And we have enough volume in the large cargo container to be able to store all of it, so... Store all of it. Store all of it, sorry. So we need 6,490 steel plates. I'm just going to ignore what we have. So 6,490. Okay, so looking... This is what we need. Out of everything. So mainly we need a lot of iron in the required. Uh, we don't have enough iron. Like, last time I checked, we had only 3,000. So we're going to need a lot more... Uh, so yeah, uh, we should have enough nickel, uh, we definitely have enough cobalt, and I'm pretty sure we have enough silicon, So, because it's just not added into the thing yet, so if we go into silicon, yeah, um, we might have enough silicon actually, I think we might just be a little bit, yeah, we might be a little bit short on silicons, but, uh, oh, silicon, sorry, but that's not too bad, yeah, we're just a little bit short on silicon, um, well, I better go get these iron. Better go get this iron done then, hey. Um, I'm gonna add one of these. Where is it? Okay, so we have that being made. Um, by the looks of it, we have another sandstorm coming along. Awesome. Okay, so we've got elite tools of everything, and now we just gotta go mine a bunch of iron. So this is gonna take a while. Finally, we have enough parts to finally just straight up weld this whole thing together without waiting on anything. I'll go ahead and show you what we have. Uh, so looking at here, 100% everything. Oh yeah, and I managed to scale this down so it fits all the components we'll be needing. Uh, it doesn't include the um, the new cockpit blocks. I've got two of them on here because this is like an older script, so it didn't really have that in there. So I just simply added them on by adding the 
block itself in the assembler instead of adding all the components for it. Anyway, um, but other than that, everything is 100% and we are all good to start welding up. Uh, it probably would have been good to have like a welding ship, but I'm just going to do this all by hand. Uh, so luckily we have the Elite Welder and it shouldn't take long, so time lets time. Finally, the large miner is complete, everything's all done, uh, now I just need to build a connector for it to connect to up on this base. Or we could just add on a survival kit and then just go straight to Asia now, after the batteries are charged fully, because yeah, um, this is all finished. Welding stuff like this by hand is like really easy, especially like with a elite welder. Um, oh, even if your um, inventory size is like set to 10, that'd be amazing, but um, it probably would have been much faster and taken like one quarter of the time I'd say um, to just do this in a welding ship so I think once we get a full-on proper base set up 
Uh, we'll have to do like a welding ship to be able to get bigger projects done. But for the most part, this is actually pretty done. Uh, the batteries are nearly charged up too, from what I know. Yep, 13 minutes to fully charge them up. So going pretty good. Um, I reckon I can fit some resources in the cargo container and then take off and fly to Asia. So we'll just wait for those uh, batteries to recharge and then we'll think about heading off. Alrighty, so I'm just going to uh, queue up a survival kit and I'm going to add that onto the miner so we can just leave this whole base behind. So I'll just search that up because I can't find it. There we go. There we go, so that's doing all the parts and we should have enough iron, it's just not queued in the actual assembler. There we go. Alrighty, so there's that second survival kit. Uh, we'll probably grind down the other one, seeing that we don't need it anymore. So just placing these conveyors here just to give it a bit of uh like a bit more height to be able to park it properly we we'll just place a connector here so we can lock up the ship while we do plans okay so just grinding these off there we go and look at that it flies Okay, so flying back, because we do have a massive thruster, it's going to be heaps of power going back, so I just got to be careful on that. So I'll just try my best not to die. We'll blow it up. Oh, we'll crash another ship. There we go. Okay. Easy does it. There we go, looking good. There we go, there's that heaps of power probably would be good to turn it off, but can't be bothered. This'll do. Okay. And here we go. Just lining up the connectors properly. There we go. Perfect. Ready to just finish recharging these batteries then we should be good to go. Okay, so the refinery is still doing its thing with the platinum. I don't know what to do there. I think I might just take the actual ore and the uh, ingots. Or maybe just leave it. Uh, we'll take all the platinum from... There. Okay, I think... Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry about that, the keyboard before was messing up, but it turns out the control button was stuck in and I didn't even realize. So, that's new. Uh, okay, so, getting back to on task. Okay, so this small cargo container has a little bit here. Uh, we'll quickly bring it out into the large one, so we have all of our uranium there. Our precious uranium. Yeah, that's pretty much it, really. So we're good to go. We can uh, shut this base down now, turn off the light, leave the car behind. So, there we go. Let's see how this car is going. Uh, it's got a little bit of uranium. Just leave it there to keep the battery going, I reckon. It'll last for five days, in-game days, apparently. So, two days, four days. Yeah. Okay, well, time to go. Okay, so everything's here, and yeah, we're pretty much good to go, it's, just, it's hard to say goodbye, I can't believe we're actually doing it. After two episodes being stuck in this valley, we finally, finally broken free to go to Asia. Go to Asia. <laughs> uh, but this, this place that I have in mind is so beautiful, it's worth it. So let's go.
Righty, so I think we have arrived. Uh, <laughs> I'm not too sure if this is the place or not. It looks very close to what I had in mind. I did have Google Maps um, pulled up on my phone and I was just looking at that sort of going along. Uh, that sort of try to, trying to figure out exactly where I was, so... Um, I'm not too sure if I should keep looking. Well, we have enough flight time, that's for sure, but I just don't want to go too far, you know? Alrighty, so just looking on the map, I don't think this is actually the right place. I do remember I wanted pine trees, because I did see pine trees in the area, so... We're just going to keep going along the coast. I'll give it a quick save. Worst case scenario, we'll just load back up here, but I'm fairly certain this isn't the place. It's similar terrain, but this isn't it, so... Cue the elevator music. finally found it. This is it. This is the place I've seen in my visions. This is where I wanted to go. Those many episodes ago, those two episodes ago, this is where I had a mine. And we finally came here with a big mine on, ready to kick up some dirt, build a nice base to settle down in. It's just so pretty, so I'll go and land and I'll give you guys a tour. Probably, oh, it'll probably, actually it won't be safe to land in water, there is no oxygen tanks. But we're going down anyway, so... Um, I won't land in water just yet, because when I was playing around with it before, it was hard to get out of it. Like, not hard, it just took a while, for some reason, like, with the thrusters and everything. Like, that, that would definitely be using a lot more battery power than I don't, like, than I want to get rid of, so... And here's a nice little cove. I definitely wouldn't mind setting up a uh, mountain, mountain area, yeah. It wouldn't be good for rovers, but we won't go by rovers. We'll have to build roads and stuff. Okay, so we are here. We can hear the birds squawking. And wow, I just gotta say, this is amazing, this place. This is... Oh, there's a defense tower over there. Okay, well, we can raid that soon then. Hopefully in the next episode, we'll gear up. But here it is. So, I have to scan the land, looking for some ore deposits and whatnot. But, um, basically, this is where we're going to set up. Uh, I think we won't go too far inland, so we'll go about here, around this area, we'll build like over this little area, just build a nice massive platform. Um, but yeah, here looks good. I like it. You can hear the water because if you mine down, it's not that far below us, so we'll just have a quick run and check out this dam here, check out the water, because this pretty much concludes this episode, this is what I wanted to do, I wanted to get here, but yeah, it's pretty close to the, um, ground, so when you dig down, you're going to dig into like a water sort of tunnel, which it's kind of like, mm, not really immersive, but at the same time it's cool, because you need to have your helmet on when you go too deep, because, you know, you are not enough oxygen, but there we go, so this is the dam here, jump in. Put away the gun. <sighs> it's good. It's good, good, good. I can see an umbrella. I can see a nice resort going here. So, we can just take off our helmet and just maybe sit down and relax, you know? Because we finally did it. So. Thank you for watching this episode.